So let's go ahead and do this problem. It's calculating the molar mass of an unknown gas. So it says if 2.56 grams of an unknown gas occupies a volume of 111 milliliters at 753 torr and 22 degrees Celsius, calculate the molar mass of the unknown gas. So, um, I've written down all the information the problem gives us. Remember, we're going to, since this is a gas law problem, we're thinking PV equals nRT, okay? So, in order to do that, we want to remember what R is. 0 0.0821 liter ATM mole Kelvin. Of course, that's going to be given to you. And we're going to have to convert these um, uh, units into units that we work with in the um, ideal gas law problem, okay? So, in order to do that, we have to remember that um, 760 torr equals 1 ATM. So, well, we can do the rest pretty easily. Ok, 
Okay. So molar mass is going to equal well the mass. 2.56 grams um, times R, 0 0.0821 liter ATM for one mole Kelvin, like that. Temperature, 295 Kelvin. Divide the whole thing by pressure. 0 0.991 ATM, like that, and multiply that by volume, 0 0.111 liters, like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so now let's cancel, all right, and see what we got left. So, um, liters cancels with liters, ATM cancels <coughs> with ATM, Kelvins cancels with Kelvins, and what do we have left? Grams divided by moles, that's good molar mass, right? Okay, so now all we do is use the calculator. So times 0 0.111 divided by 2.56 times 0 0.0821, and then multiply that by 295, and I get an answer of to three sig figs, um, five sixty four grams per mole. Okay, so that seems like a rather high molar mass to me for a gas, but that's the way it works out. And this is the answer to that problem. Do you have a question? Yeah. Um, well, I guess we could do it that way. I don't know why I was getting this one, but I was also getting. I was. Sure. No, this is the way to do it. Okay. Well, I got something else. I'm going to calculate. If I got 560, then I'll. Uh, you must have rounded differently. Okay. okay. But um, can we also find out the number of moles by the PVRT? You could figure that out and first, then the mass, and then divide. The number of yeah. Moles over mass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. I did it all at once here by rearranging the equation. Yeah. Okay. But you could do it that way. Too. I don't know why my math was off though. Uh -huh. I guess it's always the way I put it in. Yeah, so we can we can try doing it that way if you no, want to. You got the right answer. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah. Any other questions? Okay, cool.